And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Welcome along. I'm Alex. I'm going to check out the KGB fuzz today from Valco. Yes. Mm. Uh, so this is a brand new fuzz, but if you could hit like and subscribe on the channel, give us a thumbs up, ding the notification bell and comments, questions below. Yes. That'd be fantastic. That would be just dandy. So uh, Valco is mm. sort of the the pedal brand now of um, Eastwood guitars, Eastwood mm. slash airline slash Revolta guitars. Um, this is a, if you're watching this today, when we're releasing this video, then this is being released today as well. It's one of those funny things with future and stuff. Uh, it's a KGB fuzz, which kind of hints at it being a Russian style, muff style fuzz, yes. but also KGB stands for keyboards, guitar and bass. So the idea is that it's, uh, it works quite well with keys or synthesizers, guitar and bass. And we're actually in this video, we're going to look at all three. So check out the timestamp chapter thingy down the bottom and uh, you skip to wherever you want to go to when you're watching this. Cool, so the setup today, for guitars for a start anyway, guitars going through the pedal into Mozdrox amp switcher. Andrew. And that has a, a Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20 amp plugged into it. Fender style, Dumble style kind of thing. With an ISO cab with a green back, Mark's a Lewitt MTP 440. Good people. And also two, no two notes torpedo Captor X doing some stereo IRs and a bit of reverb if we need it. And there's a video for that up there. What he said. Um, should also mention right from mm. the start, this was sent to us by the good folks at Eastwood. So uh, this is sponsored by Eastwood. So uh, mm. yes, just so you know. All right, so the KGB fuzz. Uh, it sort of comes in a similar looking enclosure to the old Blood Buzz fuzz. You can watch the video on a Blood Buzz fuzz drive overdrive and fuzz up here. Um, it's a little bit different though. So uh, again, like with the other one, you've got the, the inputs and outputs up the top and they're kind of, I don't reverse the, they were reversing the other one, but they're not reversing this one. So we've got input on the right, output on the left, and you've got a dry out in the middle, which we're not using at the moment, but especially if you're using, for example, bass and stuff like that, yeah. or even synthesizers as well to mix two signals together. So you have a clean signal and a, and a affected signal. You can use that. Stand at 9 volt um, <coughs> power. Now, uh, you have a rather long fader here, uh, which is kind of cool, which is basically a dry wet mix. So all the way down, it's 100% dry, so no effect hurt. All the way up is 100% wet, so no clean signal blend, uh, blended in with the thing. You have a line and... Um, instrument switch. So depending, if you're using a guitar, you want instrument level input. If you use something like a keyboard, you use a line level input just to, to you know, have different input signal strength that you can control. You have a voice switch, which has off one, two, and three, which uh, relates to the tone. You've got an impedance switch where you can actually change the impedance, the input impedance that comes from the guitar and instrument which changes mm. the sound quite drastically with this way you can go from 10k all the way up to one meg which is quite a massive impedance sweep uh, there's an output volume which is the white knob you've got a tone which if the voice is on off is not engaged and you've got fuzz which is the amount of gain you have basically and you have an on off switch and it goes red because it's kgb ah uh, yes <clears throat> from the yeah. From the Mother Russia. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, should we get in some sounds? Let's. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? Sure. Oh, this is a Sire S7. Yep. Oh, neck, neck pickup. Because it is. Yes. And any, any reverb you hear comes from the Captor X. That's the reverb in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start off with the old everything at 12 o'clock. Uh, impedance. Let's keep it on 10K and just see what it sounds like uh, with only the dry signal. Okay. <laughs> It sounded cooler. Not in Western music. No, no, no not even in any other music, really. <laughs> but, um, so let's have actually before we do anything else, let's let's 
keep the fuzz at around about the middle. Yep. Let's check out the impedance thing because that yeah. actually makes quite a drastic difference. So we're on 10K at the moment. And what happens, the result <clears> is it gets more open and more bright. Yeah. Yeah, as you go up. So yeah. Let's check that out. <laughs> So you can kind of hear it. It gets much darker if you if you roll it down to 10k. It gets much brighter and almost a bit fuzzier too as you go up to yeah. uh, closer to the one meg. It's just you can sort of find whatever works best with your guitar. Because I mean, different pickups, different guitars will send out different impedance as well. So what you can then do is find whatever suits what you do the best. Now let's introduce the voice. Sweet. So the voice at the moment, the tone doesn't do anything because that's on off. So they're kind of related. Yeah. Um, so if I just just to see, just so you can show, see, if I move the tone around, nothing happens. So the first setting. It's sort of a uh, fairly scooped kind of sounding setting, yep. reminiscent of that kind of Muffy, Muffy kind of style yeah. um, fuzz. Now, once you do that, the tone um, gets kind of engaged. Now, one of the things that's always I've, I, I, often I find with must-have fuzzes is the tone control, it either gets too bright or too dark, but in the darker settings, it sounds better, but it's too dark. But mm. this is where you can now compensate with this, which is why I switched that up. So it's almost like having... Um, like a presence control on an amp. You've got the, the treble control, which is on the preamp, and then you've got the presence control, which is on the power amp. And it's almost like that as well. So you've got, you've got the tone control, you find that kind of fat, nice sound, and then by bringing the impedance up, you actually, it actually adds brightness to it. Let's try the... See, so if you, again, I'll just go down. So we're on a humbucker, so it's not like dark neck pickup. No, Yeah. no. <laughs> To me, it just adds, it adds another voice of like where you can yes. get more definition and more treble or top end into your mm. sound. Okay, so that's the, the first setting. Okay. Uh, let's check it. Okay, let's just check out a few different sounds on the first setting. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Clean signal in also gives you attack. Mm. It doesn't necessarily sound clean, but it gives you a little bit more attack. Yes, it's, it's a changes the feel of it. Yeah, like, it yeah. Doesn't make it all of a sudden really clean and a bit of fuzz yeah. unless you get right down the bottom of the fader. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then you go to the second setting. Now the second setting, I've got my. Uh, it, the second setting is uh, a more neutral EQ curve with increased mid focus. Great for both rhythm and lead fast tones. So this is now we're going to let, let, I'll start on one and then Sweet. I'll flick down to number two. Okay.
It's cool. I mean, it even makes this more, almost a bit more, like you have this kind of gated thing oh, yeah. sitting in the background. I think it sounds pretty cool. And now let's quickly check out Voice 3. Now, Voice 3 introduces... I'm just reading it off my little cheat sheet over here. Mm. Um, uh, with Voice 3, you enter deep bias saturation with the introduction of an extra input drive stage. The more you drive, as in the more fuzzy, uh, the more gnarly and gated the sound becomes. Classic gated staffed fuzz sound. Yeah, so the more you drive the fuzz, the more extreme the gate sounds. Yeah. So we found like <clears throat> it depends how you want to use that gate. Like earlier, if you kind of sit around just un under twelve o'clock, and the impedance makes makes a difference too, actually, with that. Mm. But so you can kind of get the um, you can still get some string tone, but it'll grab off. Yeah. Take the tail off. The Gets to the point when you turn it up, it, it's almost hard to get a note out of it, but it's cool. It's like the nicest thing. And so, with that, again, you can see the impedance. If you turn the impedance down, yes, it's even more mm. as you turn the impedance up. Actually, the gate is less. I mean, it is quite extreme, but it's less extreme. Yeah. Um, Fun. And I mean that's pretty much it. Should we try Just, it out with this guitar? So I'm I'm using a Revolta Mondata uh, with three um, mini humbuckers in it. I guess I'll be mostly on the bridge, but so clean it sounds like this. <laughs> Let's go to that really gated sound just to start off with. Hang on, you need that all the way up. It's almost like a synth. Yeah, but let's go. Synth. Let's go. Oh no, hang on, let's go. Those two. You know what you need is an octave pedal. That would be cool, actually, yeah. because people will cry. Yeah. And then if you turn it up, it actually lessens the effect. try so sorry it's interesting with the blend quite like a lot of the way down isn't it it is a weird sound yeah that. but i think one of the things that's that would be interesting to do with that is go to a dirty channel on the amp should, oh, yeah? we, should we try it out sure this is now just the dirty channel on the amp <laughs> So you're adding a massive sustain from the fuzz. Yeah. Um, but you still have kind of the tone from the amp almost. Yeah. Yeah, it just adds, it's this thing on top, which is, it's actually really cool. <laughs> I'm, sh 
shuffling. <laughs> It's all the way up. Okay, cool. So then you don't get any of the sustain of that because that dies straight away. You just get the attack from that. Yeah. If you turn it off, so you can hear better. So it kind of goes. It goes away, and then you just hear the amp after it. It's kind of, it's kind of cool, actually. when it goes away. That's kind of cool. Shall we quickly try it with a baritone? Sure. Let's check it out. Do you want to go back to the clean channel? Oh, yeah, okay. The other thing, you don't have to use a dirty channel. You could use an overdrive pedal and distortion. Yeah, 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 yeah. To recreate yeah. that same sound. It's just convenience for an overdrive channel. It's a, it's a great, the, if you just dial it in right, it, that Velcro thing is great, that sort of the super gated yeah. thing. <laughs> it's funny. That's a killer. Um, should you get some of the other ones? It's ping on. <laughs> Yeah, sure. That's getting more to distortion world for me. It's less, less big muffy or less gated. It's kind of so yeah. It's pretty versatile. Yeah. Cool. Pretty cool. That sounds very cool. Okay, let's quickly try that without the delay. Uh, uh, Eastwood. So that was a Revolta mm. Combinata. Uh, and here we've got Eastwood uh, Sarchak Deluxe Baritone, which is lovely. And it sounds like this. <laughs> so I reckon let's go. I, I yeah. want to go. And then number one, the the. the Big muffy kind of vibe or muff Let's kind of vibe. Start in the middle, fader in. Be cool if that was on expression. Oh, that would be cool, yeah. Blend. Actually, so you can blend in the fuzz. Just a thought for next time.
It's very synthy. Like it has that kind of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it just goes kind of away straight away. That's cool. I like the I like the the gate sounds really cool on it. Should we check it out with some other instruments? Sure. What do you want to do next? Yes. Yes. Keyboard or bass? I think they're the options. Yes. Well, how about let's let Google insert a targeted ad for you, <laughs> and then we'll be back. <laughs> All right, and we're back, and we have a keyboard now. We have this uh, Arturia Mini Brute SE. Hello, Arturia people. Uh, I bought this though. This wasn't sponsored by Arturia, but we are working with Arturia now, but I bought this. So it's a uh, 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 monosynth, analog monosynth. Mm. I just kind of found a sound that kind of sounds cool. Uh, so we're just going direct into this, right? And it just sounds like this. A little bit of modulation there. Just, you know, like a, just a, you know, that sort of sound. I'm not a keyboard player, but let's add some of this to it. So I'll start with the blend right down and blend it in. Okay. Let's go, start with the off voice. Let's do it like a sequence thingy. I don't know, it's just whatever it's set to. Now let's make it, let's go to the muff kind of sounds, see what that does. We actually still have it set on instrument level, because it seemed to sound better and work better. Yeah. So it's still set to that. So the impedance thing still works. <laughs> Mm, let's do... So it's almost like a, I mean, it's just a kind of dodgy kind of version of it, but almost like a drum. Like, oh yeah. Like a drum hit. Let's, let's distort a drum hit. Um, it sounds kind of cool. It works well. It's just a, a basic. I think sort of half half blend works really well. It's a basic sawtooth kind of.
Does it just go away? <laughs> That 50-50 blend seems to work really well. Cool. It just adds, it's another thing you can do, adding distortion fuzz to a synthesizer. Should we try it on bass now? Let's do bass. More Google Ads. And we're back with a bass. Mm. So uh, this is a bass for all you people that didn't know. <laughs> the long guitar. Yes. It's just diodes directly in and jazz sounds like this. You can just use the impedance actually also to change yeah. the tone of the bass a little bit if you want uh, if you want to do that with a blend all the way down. Okay, let's let's check it out now. Uh, leave it at 10k for now. Uh, voice is off at the moment, so the tone is not engaged. Let's just bring in a little bit of fuzz. Let's turn a fuzz down actually to begin with. Sure. And just bring in a little bit of fuzz. <laughs> be cool yeah if you could assign this to like an lfo kind of thing so it actually modulate modulates it for gain. you like a you know, yeah you know this sort of thing <laughs> all you need is a friend who stands there and does it <laughs> <laughs> no but that would be cool i mean imagine that if you could have some sort of a thing where mm. you you know yeah. Like Chase Bliss style. Ramping. Ramping, yeah. yeah, yeah. really spluttery fuzz that sounds really cool um Totes. don't think that makes as much of a difference on the bass to me no not so much and i i do i mean it makes a little bit of a difference but i do prefer it on the lower impedance settings yep seems to sound better on the bass Which but it's cool Let, but let's try it now let's i'll bring more blend in okay It is. gets a little bit unwieldy with so much gain. Let's 
That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Play some chords? too gated yeah. but i mean you can it's very synthy kind of sound once yeah. you get to that it sounds quite like a bass synthesizer kind of thing fine well i mean that's pretty much i think it's is it is it covering everything that needs to be covered of course if you're going to use this with bass recording i definitely go the dry out as well just so you have yeah yeah, yeah. You have a completely clean blend signal. post but for doing gigs i think you just use the one output and the blend, blend the blend yeah blend till heart's content um yeah because then yeah it does the volume drops a fair bit. Like there's a bit of a volume drop, but I mean you can compensate with that with this and stuff. But yep, um, true. Uh, all up, I think it's pretty cool. It's quite a versatile fuzz. Yeah, definitely. It does a lot. So that's so. a KGB fuzz from uh, Valco slash Eastwood. Uh, make sure to check it out. Big thank you to all the awesome people at Eastwood for sending this out to us and letting us part be part of the launch release day thing thingy yeah. whatever you want to call it uh so thank you to uh, to all you people for that thanks for watching uh if there's any questions you have leave me in the comments below uh we might see if we can do one or two more videos with this maybe pairing it up with the blood buzz as well just to see what the difference is between the two and then go from there links below to facebook instagram and a podcast check yeah. them out if you've got some time and thanks for watching see you soon